Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome. Wow. Wow. To another fail state. This was a game I was not expecting to actually ever appear on this, because I'd forgotten this game had ever actually existed. Today's game is Hellion. It's meant to be a kind of open worldy space survival game set in multiplayer, which, as you can see, after three years of development, is super good looking. So it's F. There we go. Wait. Was that? Okay. So, yeah, Hellion. This is a game I picked up a couple of years ago and decided to not play it ever again until it actually sorted out bugs, uh, optimization, and actually running. But, um. Can anyone hear me? It's a multiplayer. Um. This is Fiona Myers, First Officer of Dale's. Okay, do I have my suit on? Yeah, okay, I, I have a pressure suit. Okay, good. So the game. But if you can hear me, I need you to trust me. The station you're in is about to fall from orbit, and you don't have much time, so grab your gear and head to the command module. You should be able to call for a rescue ship. Okay, have a helmet, alpha light. So the game is all about you get to. Fly a ship, mine asteroids, fight other people, steal their ships, and he was able to build, craft, and do other things. It's meant to be better played with more people. Uh, it's, a bit, it's more simulated than a lot of games with style, because you were meant to. Let's see, so as you can see, you can aim at lots of things, you can store weaponry and equipment. You were meant to literally go in, repair stuff, go in and build modules for your actual ship itself. Now, I literally just saw Sid Alpha's video of this. Docking clamp status warning. Ugh, okay. Door control. Open it up. Emergency open. So as you can see, zero G. Oh! Do you need to rotate? Oh, this feels sickly. But yeah, the game has changed a lot since I last played it. didn't have a space station. It's also changed a lot because the game is now dead. Which is a bit of a difference. All that. Hold shift to stabilise. Ah. Cool. So yeah, you're meant to have your own ship. The station is new. There are multiplayer games of like 30 odd people. You, there's weaponry. There is mining. There was crafting. So obviously there was a lot to it. Okay, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. Okay, good. But yeah, I literally didn't realise it because the game did not run very well. I was looking to ever get like 20 frames. Some people Regular got it to run well, codes don't work others did not. And that's my fault, sorry, but there should be a hacking tool somewhere. Just try to look around. Wow. I wonder if it's in here. Hack the door. So the hacking's now a thing, which wasn't a thing before. How do I... There we go. I've used my hacking tool. That was pretty basic. Oh! What's this? Ladder! But yeah, the game was about ships, about travelling, about people. It was highly, highly buggy, and looking at reviews and things, it still is. The game has had numerous massive crippling bugs since the very beginning. We're talking... Some of them are game-ending bugs. Some of them are just casual bugs that have been there since the beginning. And some have been new ones added with every single patch to try and fix other bugs. Oh, wow. This is a basic It'll station. It'll take a few minutes for the ship to get there. But it will get there. Uh-huh. It's Alcorp, after all. They're the only good thing that ever happened in Hellion. Had we put them in charge, we could have probably avoided this entire mess. No, I doubt it. That's literally anyway, what we think about the developers. Outside. Just make sure you have enough oxygen. So yeah, the player base won't have any. died pretty quickly because obviously every time they introduced a patch, people came back to see what had changed, and most of the time, what had changed was more patches. Okay, my LCS fuel's down to forty percent. So yes, it really needed a lot more work. And as far as I can tell. The developers were running on the whole left mark button to refill your own jetpack. What did I say? It's already gone away. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, we still already full. Really? So 72%. Reach the ship. Hmm. Okay, it says reach the ship. Let's go reach the ship. As you can see, the graphics... Uh, they're all over the place. The gameplay, when it worked, was extremely stable and solid. I played this with, with some friends. I've literally had to boot this up again just now. Just so I can remember how the game worked. But yeah, you can take your helmet off. You can actually do all sorts of things. Obviously, this is the first ship you start with, which is actually pretty good. But again, it wasn't stable. It didn't work. Some, bug it, some bugs... Like I say, were major ones like teleporting through stations. There was major stuff where the client was trusted more than the server. So if you shot someone, even if it's like across the other side of the map, it would classify that as actually having to happen, as opposed to you know picking up normal things like positioning, things like that. So there was a lot of major things which they needed to sort out. I did not do that correctly. Go that way. Come on. Go towards the ship. But yeah, it simulated space pretty well. It had gravity. It had actual physics, which is quite rare for these kinds of games at the time, because it came out in 2017. But one of the problems it had was obviously the player base wasn't there, so the developers couldn't really afford it, which is why this is now on this list, because the game's dead. It says it's fully released but it's not fully released they just basically said we've run out of money so we're releasing what we've got now at a cheaper price it's not fully released it's barely a game it's more of a tech demo but apparently developers have gone their separate ways apparently they're trying to develop a new game although if this is the result of their first game i wouldn't fully trust them the second time around the actual servers have been given over to their modding team so the moderators now run the servers. So developers do not have anything to do with the game. So there may not really be any aftercare support either. God, space is awkward. There we go. Okay. <laughs> So you can grab and you get close to things, which is very, very useful. It's actually... Okay. Open the door. As you can see, there's actual pressurisation stuff going on. So you can pressurise and depressurise ships. There's different types of ships. I don't recognise this one. But yeah, the game, like I say, is dead. I do not recommend picking it up at any price ever. Okay. Open the outer door, not the inner door. There we are. There we go. Alright, so you have to check the power supply and the warp drive. Yeah. Oh wait, but to gain access, you'll have to register first. There's a security panel on the bridge. Security panel on the bridge? Okay. Okay. Any guns? But yeah, no. If it's... It definitely plays better, but it still feels more like a tech demo of here's what we could have done. Because you can actually fly ships and all sorts. You can jump, claim the ship. Oh, look, there's my actual image. Intriguing. Change name. Add crew member, so I can say you can play with multiplayer. So now it's mine. Turn on the power. Yes, that'd be useful. I'd like to take my helmet off. Deploying the solar panels. Stereops? Okay, is that on? Like I say, it wasn't... Okay, power's on, isn't it? There we go. So now we actually have an active ship. Can I take my helmet off now? Or am I going to die? I'm going to put my helmet back on. Gonna put my helmet back on, I've decided. I made the executive decision to put a helmet on. But yeah, the game is dead. 
The player base as of me recording this, which will be maybe the same day or a week before, is five people over 30 servers. One of which is me. So yeah, there's five people over 30 servers. But as you can see, it was meant to be played with a team. You can play single player. I really wouldn't recommend it too much. Because obviously, if it was designed for multiplayer, the single player won't really be there. Okay, okay I'm just, the actual flying mechanics are very awkward. As you can see, very awkward. Okay, there we go. Okay, match velocity is M. So, 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 so. Can I even dock with this thing? Search a derelict for a new nanite core. Wait, is that the wrong one? That's just my alarm. So yeah, sound was a bit... Okay, there we go. But you can just get out of your ship and you'll carry on flying towards your target. So many, many ships have been lost because of that. Stabilize, stabilize. Am I flying? 4.2, yes, there we go. There we are. Targeting that. Can I get out of my ship? Enter toggle engines. Don't want to do that. One. As you can see down here, we also have the map. <laughs> Could do that. There we go. Now there is another player in this server with me as we speak. Not sure what they're doing, but they are there. I realise I'm not trying to say too much, because the game's been around for three years. It was in, remember, uh, Gr um, Greenlight? It was a greenlit game. It had huge amounts of potential. Huge amounts of potential. There weren't that many space survival games at the time. It had really good-looking graphics, which apparently have gotten worse since it's released, somehow. Not sure how, but there you are. Obviously you had big ships, you could go out, mine asteroids, go take other people's ships, craft your own weapons and equipment, stuff like that. There was a lot of things happening. Off target. Ah, it's tap. Am I still fl going, I'm going sideways? Is my ship out of energy? No, it shouldn't be. Seven kilometers! Wait a minute. That one. That one there. But yeah, flying was difficult. Moving around was difficult. It was designed very much around its own physics, which were quite difficult. Come on. I'm keeping... I'm trying to match target velocity. So it looks to me like it's flying, my ship's using the speed itself to try and match it. Yes, I know I'm off target. I very much know I'm off target. Okay, I don't want speed assistance, just fly my ship forwards. It seems to be okay, I don't... Ah, oh. But as you can see, it was difficult. People were hoping for a bit more help with that. Trying to match anything was a bit of a nightmare. Hmm. Where's oxygen in this thing? What's this? What did I just pull? Because one of the things which really starts was you start off in your own ship. That's your stress cool, security panel. So you could. Just gonna ignore that thing. Power supply, military nanites. Oops, do I need that? There we go. 
So you put things in, you can open up all sorts of panels and check that out. So let's see, life support. That's not on. You can take out filters. So like this thing would need filters. But it looks like it doesn't have any. Like you see, it requires carbon filters and missing. So we don't actually have servo motors or carbon filters. So it's actually not making any actual oxygen. So you need individual parts for your ship. You weren't able to build your own ship, which is a bit... No, 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 no. It's a bit meh. Ugh. Interesting. Zero G works as you'd expect. Well, as you can see, actual targeting with a ship was significantly more difficult than you'd like. Three kilometres away. Ships very much felt like big floaty bricks. You had to make very small incremental adjustments, which made it more simulation than game. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 stop. Okay, now move forwards. Yeah, developer development team has split from the game. Um, from what I can gather, because having a look at it, uh, one of them actually left a review saying he wished he'd ca had carried on doing it, but apparently they've gone too much into like corporate greed or something. But the basic thing is, the team were completely overwhelmed by bugs. They could not finish the game because everything they did added more bugs. The very basis of the game was bug ridden and damaged. And they did not seem to know how to fix that. They could not at any point fix the bugs which were everywhere. And yeah, because the team just ran out of money, they moved on. But they put it into full release. It's not a full release. It's a tech demo. This is very much a tech demo. How do I toggle, how do I turn off speed? Okay, we're finally here. There we go. There we go, I've now matched velocity. So I can now go over there and hopefully go grab this core they want me to get. And maybe some other supplies. Oh, there's the mining drill. Battery pack. That's just the mining gear you can get. There are all, like I say, guns in here. Uh, resource containers. Don't really need any of those right now. Okay, let's open the door. Open the door. Oh. I didn't close the inner door. Okay, auction's all gone. Like I had, I had big hopes, but again, it's a game I forgot about. It was so bug ridden and unoptimized. I didn't remember this game existed eee! for nearly two years. I was literally looking at it just the other day because I was like, what's this game and do I still care about it? Is it fixed yet? And says, no, never fixed. Never at all. But yeah, if you don't like this, this, this kind of motion is making me kind of ill because I have very little control. It very much feels like I have very little control in this. It's you bounce around off everything. You're constantly holding shift to try and stabilize what you're doing. If you don't hold shift, you basically bounce off, which means shift should be default. You shouldn't have to hold shift to stabilize. This should be a thing automatically being done. So there was really weird design choices. There's really, really, that's what I'm after. Civilian nanite core. Really weird design choices. Really weird decisions. Lots of books. The development team, like maybe the next game will be better. Although, very much feels like their next game will probably be exactly the same. There we go. Stop, 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 stop. I 
as you can see in the bottom right, you can tell when I'm stabilizing. It goes green, which is literally the entire time. It's not a toggle. You can't just hold it down. Is there a toggle? Settings. Controls. Can I just toggle stabilize? No. You don't do it. You see that? I'm just spinning. For no reason. The sun is blinding. Very much in the age-old phrase of... Bloom. Even though eyes don't do that. Cameras do. Eyes do not. Come on. I can see the door. Go forwards. I'm holding the buttons down. But yeah, I don't recommend this game. I don't recommend picking up on any kind of sale. This game is effectively dead. It's not full release. It's barely even early access. Because if you're fighting this much in the first... 20 to 30 minutes just to get in your ship. It means the learning curve is insanely steep. Where's the thing? There it is. Close the door. There we go. Am I upside down? Ah! I just fell on my head. Can I pressurise this? No, because I don't have... <coughs> I don't have any oxygen. Yeah, a lot of things could be done to a streamline. A lot of things could be done, obviously, all over the place, but... Again, it's dead. You need to find a safe place. Check the half map. Look for an outpost or something. Anything with a stable orbit will do. Honestly, I do feel almost dread trying to sort this out. As you can see, there's okay, a fair bit listen. to do. I know you're not a pilot or a navigator, but right now, you have to be both. You need to set up and execute a warp maneuver. Okay. It might look complicated How? at first, but you'll see. It basically comes down to tweaking the departure and arrival times until the warp line turns green. Then just point the ship in the right direction. Oh. It's not that hard once you get a hang of it. I trust you'll manage. Are you sure? Just getting my ship to face one direction is a bit of a bugger. So, yeah. It could have done with a lot more stuff. I don't know why I'm saying that. I keep being hopeful the game could exist. If not, they've officially abandoned it. It's officially abandoned. Officially dead. Apparently full release, but I wouldn't even say early access. Bug ridden from day one. And the bugs only ever got worse. Because every time they tried to fix one, they changed the code enough that it added another three or four in. It didn't technically even tell me how to do that. It just says point and click. Okay. So am I aiming the big big planet? Anyway, yeah. Hellion. Abandoned because they never fixed all the bugs and really didn't know how. Uh, money ran out, but I think they are developing a new game. I definitely not touched that one at all. But yeah, this game is DOA, Dead on Arrival. Oh my god, that Blair glare. Look at that. Anyway, shout for now, people. Don't touch this. Be awesome, be epic, and be seeing you in the next one.